Hello, I'm Gary Leland. And I'm Tony Sakala. And we are the it's Crypto the Cousins. Cousins. Hey, Tony, today's question is, I kind of like this question, what is a Bitcoin ATM? What, what is the deal? ATMs for Bitcoin? That's a really fun thing. I've seen them online, but I haven't seen them in person. I've, I've seen, seen them in person. I've seen them in person. Yeah. And it's really fun. Uh, so you go to a Bitcoin ATM with your wallet. You'll have a, a usually a phone wallet. Right. And uh, you'll plug in that you want some Bitcoin. And you'll put in some, you want to put in some cash. And so the ATM works in the opposite direction. Instead of putting in cash, putting in a number and getting out cash, you put in cash and then you get Bitcoin. And the beautiful thing about this is it's uh, anonymous. It doesn't have any uh, restriction. But I take it back, it's not anonymous. The ones uh, I've seen, I've been to two different ones. Oh. And they both didn't even set instructions. You had to show your ID. Showing so you take a photo of your ID. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they know that's real or not. Does not know if it's real? Or I, I'm not sure that part, but I do know they wanted to know who you were, uh, as though the federal government wants to know who's moving who's, around Bitcoin. Moving, oh, well, that's fantastic. I didn't realize that. So yeah, you, so you'll take your phone and you'll you'll scan the QR code, and uh, after you put your money in, you'll check your wallet, and then your wallet should say that you have the, the amount of Bitcoin that you wanted. Of course, there's a price fee involved. It's 10%, 15%, it depends right. on the ATM. So you're going to be paying a little bonus for that, uh, premium for that Bitcoin, but the ease of use is, uh, is uh, you know. Uh, or for someone, for someone who, uh, for instance, if you're living here and you're from San Salvador, I'm just going to make up a country, mm -hmm. and you need to send money back to your family, well, Western Union charges a pretty high percentage. Yeah. But using the Bitcoin ATM, you could basically just go put my money in there, get your your keys, your numbers to mm -hmm. your Bitcoin, call up or email a family member with the say, hey, here's the keys, and they go download the Bitcoin keys. And if they've got a place to convert it into money, then they've got the money with no big transaction fees. Really, very little transaction fees. So yeah, you can send. Uh, that's the great thing about Bitcoin. You can send ten dollars, a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars. No matter what you send, it's still going to be the same transaction fee. And then also, when they get this money in Panama or San Salvador, I'm using South American countries. I realize, but I'm using those because there's no banking down there. Venezuela. There's no real banking down there compared to North America. Is why I'm using those. So they get this Bitcoin. It's not like when they get Western money, Western Union, to send in the money. They send them $100, they walk out the door with $90 maybe after fees, mm -hmm. and they got 90 US dollars in their hand. Where are they gonna hide that? There's no banks around. What are they gonna do with that $90? Mm -hmm. I mean, they gotta carry it with them, hide it under their mattress, put it in a hole under the house. With the Bitcoin though, they aren't walking around with this money. So not only is it a great way to transfer money from here to there, it's a great way to keep their money secure while they're there instead of someone coming up to them and saying, give me your money, I'll shoot you in the head. They're going to come, give me, give me your keys to your wallets. I mean, you know, it's a little bit harder to do. Exactly. A Bitcoin wallet is very secure. Uh, you don't have to worry about people taking your phone because you can disable right. the wallet. You don't have to um, have it. But, but the ATM basically is a great way for people to transfer cash. But then again, though, people could use it for illegal purposes. They could have robbed the bank and a million dollars to be sitting there pumping in Bitcoin and buying Bitcoin all day. Uh, there you go. That's why they want the ID. Yeah, I guess. But mm -hmm. once they got in the million dollars and bought the Bitcoin, it's not much they could do with them. <laughs> you know, as far as, right. as long as they had a, they got a fake ID and a mask. I'm not sure how that works. You know, we met a guy for work. Runs 750 of those ATMs. Mm -hmm. We need to have him on the show. Yeah, let's have him on the show. But that's it. That's our answer for what is a Bitcoin ATM. Thanks for watching. Be sure and check out our website. Find our blogs, videos, and podcasts at CryptoCousins.com.